Hi folks, today we talk about the mash in whiskey production. What is a mash? And uh, we choose some malted barley. Mm. Right, so what is a mash? Um, well, before a whiskey is a whiskey, it is a beer. A brewer needs to produce a, you know, typically high alcohol volume beer that is then distilled and the, the alcohol is extracted from the beer and you have your, your new make spirit. Um, now a brewer's job essentially is to extract sugars from grain, but not just to pull sugars from grain, also to break down the sort of white starchy uh, carbohydrates that are in that grain into shorter chain sugars. Um, now a mash is really the the porridge that a brewer makes mixing uh, hot water with grain and extracting sugars breaking down starches into into, into simpler sugars. Um, a mash is in in the whiskey world uh, makes use of malted barley. Now why malted barley? I have a little bowl of malted barley in front of me. Um, unmalted barley is essentially the raw grain as it grows in the field and is harvested. One needs to malt that barley, which is the process of essentially germinating it and then killing it immediately after germination. Um, the, and that is done to, to extract uh, or, or to activate enzymes within the grain. Because when, when, a, when a barley grain germinates, it is preparing for a massive burst of energy and it releases enzymes within the grain to break down those starchy carbohydrates into en energy yielding sugars to go and look for sunlight. Um, so a, a brewer needs those enzymes um, and they work on their own. As soon as you add hot water, it activates those enzymes. You've milled that grain and opened up the carbohydrates. The enzymes break down those carbohydrates into simple sugars that yeast can consume and voila, you have your unfermented beer, which is essentially called wort. Um, and that is the brewer's role within a distillery. And it's sometimes a, you know, something that's not talked about an awful lot or not that well understood, um, but it's actually a, a crucial role. And you know, a lot of the more progressive distilleries are paying a lot more attention to raw materials, grains, mashes, yeasts, fermentation, um, especially on small scale production and, and producing interesting results. So I think we're going to see um, some innovations on, on mash fermentation, which is a subject we'll get to later, from some of the emerging smaller producers, um, whether those be in Scotland, Japan or the United States. Um, so that's a mash in a nutshell. Now, if I chew this malted barley, Compared with a raw grain, which would be quite dry and flowery, having been malted already, some of those enzymes are already released in the grain. I can taste that there's already some sugar development. There's a little bit of sweetness there. It's a little bit like a Horlicks-like flavor. Um, and that's what the brewer crucially needs, those enzymes in the grain. He steeps it in, a, in, in hot water. Uh, here's a picture of me stirring a small batch uh, mash uh, in preparation for a a beer and that mash is is a big science all of its own however long story short you're looking at temperatures between 60 and 70 degrees being a, uh, a very active temperature zone for alpha amylase and beta amylase those enzymes of the grain naturally produces to break to break those starches down to sugars that yeast can can consume and, and produce alcohol so that's the mash process. Typically, you're looking at about two and a half volumes of water to, to grain and those sort of temperature ranges. Um, the grain steeped in, 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 the, in a mash for an hour typically, which is enough time for all of that conversion to happen. Now, you might have heard in the bourbon scene specifically the term sour mash. So you, you might have some familiarity with this term mash and whiskey. And the sour mash is, you know, in my personal opinion, it's something maybe a little bit overplayed in, in the marketing sphere because all mashes are necessarily sour. Barley uh, lowers the pH uh, of your your mash for you naturally. 
So your water might be 7.5 pH, for example. You add that ratio of barley into the mix in your mash, you're already going to be down at about 5.5. And the science of mashing is, you know, the whole process works more effectively at a, at a lower, sort of more acidic region of about 5.2 to 5.3 pH. Um, now the sour mash in, in the bourbon was really just the, the process, um, a traditional process whereby the 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 waste left from the previous distillation that is left on the bottom of the still is, is naturally quite acidic. Now that you've taken a lot of water and alcohol off, you're left with a more acidic product that is added back to a fresh mash with corn in the case of barley and it lowers that pH, it protects that mash from infection from spoilage organisms and it just makes the the, the chemistry of that mash more effective. Um, so brewers around the world will do this naturally, they'll add acids, they will get some pH drop from the grain itself. Uh, so all mashes are essentially sour mash, um, but that's where the term comes from. It's, it, it's that process of using the, the waste from the previous distillation to sour, uh, lower the pH of, of the incoming mash so that it's a, a more effective breakdown of sugars. Um, I hope that clears up what a mash is. It's essentially a porridge to pull sugars so that we can ferment sugars into alcohol, distill it and have the beginnings of, of a whiskey. Very important step in the process. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.